a lot of our people, man. You know, two thirds of the nation of Israel is gonna get jacked up, okay, upon the returning of the Lord, man. That's why the Lord said, "Shall he find faith, man?" If he's gonna shut down all these stores, he's gonna let uh, Esau on. He's already loose, but he's gonna really let him do his thing according to Revelations, the twelfth chapter, because he has a short time of ruling, man. So, shall the Lord find faith? You know, that's the question. He's not gonna find faith among the uh, two thirds, but amongst the elect, he shall find faith, man. That's right. The scripture says, "The elect shall praise His holy name." Mm -hmm. I got a precept. Come. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Yep. And it reads, "Destruction cometh, mm -hmm. and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none." Yeah, destruction is coming, man. Destruction is coming, man. Destruction is coming. And people are gonna be seeking peace, but it's not gonna be any, man. I saw an article where uh, uh, the U.S. You know, sign a peace treaty with the uh, the was it Taliban? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look, a peace treaty. If the Lord wants peace, He's going to bring the peace, man. Not Esau either. You know? That's right. This is the uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. Yep, chapter five, verse three. Come. And it reads, for when they shall say peace and safety. Uh, and that's what everyone is uh, 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 preaching about now. They're preaching about now, man. You know? That's the only thing people want to hear about is peace, positivity. Okay? A lot of conscious rappers uh, yep. talk about that all day long. Yep. But why is that? Because this, uh, the earth is in a turmoil, man. This place is upside down. It's being ran by the wicked, man. As I tell you in Joel, the ninth chapter. Yep. It tells you in Proverbs 29 chapter. I got it. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority. Yeah, when the righteous are in authority, man. Lord Yahweh shot, man. The 12, the elect, the 144. Go ahead. The people rejoice. The people rejoice, man. The people are going to rejoice, man. Fresh air, clean water. All right. Go ahead. But when the wicked bear fruit. Esau Edom, the so-called white man according to the Bible. The people mourn. Man, woman, and child, the people mourn, man. And that's what you see going on. That's why everyone's talking about uh, uh, love, peace, okay? They want they, they want positivity. Why? Because the, the, the wicked is ruling, man. See, when, when the righteous are in authority, people are going to be rejoicing, man. Yep. You're not going to have to be speaking about uh, 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 wanting peace, okay? <laughs> the people are going to be rejoicing. That's you right. Know? It's back in Thessalonians. Yeah. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, uh -huh. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Then sudden destruction shall come upon them, man. When you least expect it, man. See, that, that, that J. Don't be so. It's uh, women. That's it. That thing is a game, man. Everyone thinks everyone think it's, it's a game out here, man. Here it is, we're prophesying about destruction according to the Bible, all right? And no one wants to take heed. Because I'm pretty sure some jinx among them. They're playing games with their life. Yeah, they're playing games with their life, man. You know? Jigsaw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jigsaw is like, the Lord might to be a, a jigsaw master on these people. That's right. right. Now, they can, the Lord is going to torture them. That's right. He, he gives them the reason why, too. You know, because they yeah. were wicked. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. Uh -huh. For when they shall say peace and safety, uh -huh. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yep. As travail upon a woman with a child, uh -huh. and they shall not escape. You're not going to escape, man. Just like that woman can't escape those birth pains, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And while she's going through the birth pains, she catch all kind of hell. Yep. To the point, and, and, you know, you know that got to be some type of pain, but women say they don't even want to have. They don't want to go through it no more, man. You know? Some have it worse than others, but the ones that really have it bad, they don't want to go through that process again, man. You know? That's right, bro. Their life hangs in the, in, 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 in the hands of the Lord, man. Which is like a, their life is on a, on, a, on a thread, man. You know? A 
But that's how it's gonna be when the Lord brings this, this, this death and destruction, the calamities, man. All right, you're not gonna be able to tell the Lord to hold off. You know, well, hold on, Lord. Let me go ahead and do what you really wanted me to do, and, and, and then you can bring it. No, it's not gonna work like that, man. I got it. This is Second Ezra 16 and 37. Yep. Behold, the plagues draw nigh, yep. and are not slack. And they're not slack, and we're starting to see those things now. Look at the coronavirus, man. Mm -hmm. All right, it's taking hold, effect of the whole world, man. Ten percent of the world is is, is, is what on lockdown, been affected. Yep. <clears throat> But under quarantine, under even, quarantine, even more people are affected because what? That's their families. Yep. That's their loved ones. Yep. You know now the triple effect in the economy. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is all <coughs> being affected. You know, the whole world is being shaken up. Yeah, they was giving um, uh, 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 was it Wuhan residents or Chinese residents, uh, uh, twelve hundred uh, American dollars. I don't know what how much it would be in, you know, um, China's money. Okay, to help, uh, yeah. huh? I think it's the yen or something. The yen, yeah, <laughs> to help, <laughs> to help boost, boost their economy, man. You know, well, all because of this virus. Yep, yep, yep. This is a uh, verse thirty-eight, and that's a that's a slap in the face, really. Yeah. You know, you know, through the spirit, we believe it was Esau that did that. Verse yep. thirty-eight. Yep. As when a woman with a ch with child in the ninth month. Hey, good look, cause they they have to pull off their population control, right? That's what they're trying to do. Yep. That's part of their agenda. Georgia guys. So That's right. I believe it's what uh, five hundred thousand or five million. I think it's five million. You no, know, Bruce can look it up though. Um, Georgia guys. So you don't gotta look it up. Yeah, look up on their own. Yeah. Know? Look it up, you know, it tells you, because, you know, that number is quietly misquoted. Georgia, 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 God, just look that up. It, it breaks it down for you. That's right. These imaginary stones, you know, just appear out of nowhere. Right. <laughs> just in case we don't remember. You yeah. Because Scripture says, that's how you know that even might know a reincarnation. That's you right. know? Because Scripture right. says there's no remembrance of former things. That's right. The elite, the elites, they know. Yep, the elites, yep. The that's average Budweiser. You know, six pack. Yeah. yeah. Homer sent this. Verse 38. It says, As when a woman with child in the ninth month uh -huh. bring it forth for a child, yep. within two or three hours her birth, her uh, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. Yeah, the contractions, man. You know? Every so uh, every so many hours, she's getting those contractions, man. Yep. Whether it's every 30 minutes, every hour. And, and look, man, that, that's an excruciating pain, man. You know? Yep. And there's it, no stopping the baby. Ain't no stopping the baby. It's, it's coming. It's coming, man. The doctors say, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's how this claim is going in, man. You know? It's like when that woman's giving birth, you know, she, uh, damn near about to rip the dude's arm off, man. You watch some of these shows or movies, <laughs> or if you actually have a child, you'll see, man. Yep. That woman looking right crazy, ready to snatch mm -hmm. your whole arm and hand off. I'm gonna be tested. Uh, can't, can't wait uh, 10 minutes. Okay. 6.30. 6.30, yeah. You got my phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my phone's <laughs> <laughs> But, um, it says... I'm sorry, we don't speak Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it again. Verse 38, it says, As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, right. great pains can pass her womb. Yeah, great pains can pass her womb, man. All right? No contractions. The same thing going to happen with America, man. Yeah. You know? You're going to get hit with a virus, a plague. You're going to get hit with a major earthquake, which is what we've been seeing going on, you know? To the point where you look, this place is not going to recover, man. That's right. That's right, bro. Because it's a domino effect. That's right. And the Lord has started it. That's you right. You know? And, hey, that momentum is picking up. That's right. That, that little snowball that's on top of the hill is about the size of a car now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going down faster It's going down. Faster. Yep. It says, for, it says, it says, uh, compass her womb with pains. When the child coming forth, they are they slack not a moment. That's right. They slack not a moment, man. And that's how the, that's how the, uh, the destruction is going to hit this place, man. You know, it's not going to be peace coming. Once you see this destruction happening, it's only going to ramp up, man. The race riots are brewing. You know, 
then they're not gonna quiet down. They're not gonna quiet down. That's why brothers are saying what this coronavirus is it. You know, That's right. it could lead to the to mass chipping to the RFID shit. Yeah. Cause we're in those times. That's right. You know, we're in those times when the Lord is bringing His word to pass. Yeah, and that's why we read to the Lord found faith on earth, man. Because it's gonna it's gonna be that bad out here, man. That people are gonna lose faith. You know. That was on that. Oh no, it's a little bit more. It says, "Even so shall the plagues, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth." Mm, should they not be slack to come upon the earth? No, they're not going to be slack, man. You know? Go ahead. And the world shall mourn in sorrows. And the world shall mourn in sorrows, man. You know? People are going to be mourning. You know? The Lord might just take out a whole city. You know what I'm saying? Literally. Literally. That, and that's the destruction that the Lord is going to be going to be bringing these times that we're living in, man. It could be any day now. Oh, look. In uh, California. You know, that right. earthquake, right. you know, you know, the Lord can just open the earth, you know, yep. how that earthquake happen, you yep. know, yes. San Francisco gone, Yep. you know, have bros out of town, yeah. have bros at the LA bros house, who knows how yeah. the things are going to go down. Hey look, you can have like parts of the uh, 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 California just floating, man, uh -huh. there's islands of it, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, but, but you know, the whole for elect protected of course you know that's right it says even so shall not the plagues be i'm sorry verse 39 from the top now mm -hmm. even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth yeah they're not gonna be slack man the lord's not drawing back you know because everything get uh uh kind everything has a time and a season man okay we're in the season of the lord judgment's place man yep. you know this is um Ezekiel chapter 12, and we're starting at verse 26. Right. Is, oh, you got it? Right. Yeah, I'm sorry. It says, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 26. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, right. the vision that he seeth is for more for many days to come. Yeah, man, you speaking about that Bible stuff, man. Yeah, he's, he, uh, that's the truth, right? Yeah, well, well, my grandpa was talking about that, man. Yep. He said everything you saying, man. And look, he dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? That's what Jake say. Yep. They say it's for many days to come, you yep. know? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, things are about to quiet down. Right. World War III, that probably, this might be another, we're about to have another Cold War right. first. Hey, look, this has been a peace treaty with the Taliban. Uh-huh. Look, they've been going to war with them for about 18, almost 20 years, man. Yep. What you mean destruction is coming, man? We are living in good times. Yep. We got a dollar menu. <laughs> we got a chance for the first female president. Right. You know? But it says... It says, the vision he seeth is for many days to come, and he mm -hmm. prophesied of the times that are far off. Yeah, well, what y'all speaking, man? Look, man. Yeah, I, it might happen maybe about 100 years now. You know, I'm long gone. It may happen in my, 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 my grandchildren's grandchildren's time. Yep, America still got a long ways to go. Yeah, man. This place is just getting started, man. You know, we got flying, we got self-driving cars now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> come on, yo, you think... We're at the high bar. Yeah. <laughs> I got a raise on my job, and life is good, man. Verse 28. Therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, mm -hmm. but the word which I have spoken uh -huh. shall be done, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, so the word which the Lord has spoken, which is prophecy, shall be done, man. You know? Get Habakkuk, uh, the second chapter. What, two and three or two and fifteen? Yep. You know? Uh, 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 nah, I'm back first. I'm back. Wait, you get, get still holding that Ecclesiastes? Yeah. Yeah, bring that real fast th th at the top. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one. Yep. To everything there is a season. To everything there's a season, man. Go ahead. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. That's right, and that's all I wanted. 
okay? There's a time and, 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 and season for everything, man. This is the time of the Lord's judgment, man. You know? It's the season for destruction. Yeah, it ain't the season for jolly. It's the, it's the season for destruction, man, according to the Bible. You know? And, and, and with knowing that, why would you not want to turn back to the Heavenly Father? Yep. You know? That's right. Bro. Why would you not want to seek His face? It's like it, bro. Go ahead. Now you want to make a statement? No, you said that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, why would you not want to go and seek His face? But yet, you know, everybody, I be want to go and vote. You know? I be want to go and, and, and seek their oppressor to get them out of the jam that they're in. When death and destruction comes from the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, what you people gonna do, man? Mm -hmm. You gonna go tell your daddy Esau? Okay? No, man. If you wanna live, you Israelites you need to seek the Lord. How do you seek the Lord? Through as many as set up. And it's not past the pork chop. Alright? You gonna have a group? Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 For the vision is yet for an appointed time The vision is talking about the prophecies of the Bible They are set for an appointed time And we're living in those times now right? But at the end it shall speak and not lie But at the end, which we are at the end Okay It shall speak and not lie And they're speaking Wait, no, I'm sick of Ezra's now Alright Yep, yeah. yeah, no, they're speaking loud and clear now, man. Why? Because we're measuring the times and we're linking everything up with the scriptures, man. That's how we know, man. We're the watchmen. All right? Start with our head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. On down to brothers like ourselves. Go and Terry. Though it may suck, it's taking a while. All right? You know, it, it, it's, it's like that, uh, it's like, uh, like that snowball. At the, at the top of the hill. Okay, it's coming down slow. And then what? It starts to gain momentum. The avalanche. The avalanche, that's right. Wait for it. Wait for it. It shall what? Because it, it, it will surely come. It will surely come. It will not tear. It will not tear. So once that, 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 uh, that, that snowball starts to rolling, the calamities, the death and destruction, the race riots, the famines, okay? The wars, World War III, when the lights shut up, when the lights go off in America, they're not getting turned back on. That's right. You know? That's when right. When this economy collapsed, it will not be bouncing back. That's right. I like, I like to say grand opening and grand closing for America, man. Yep. How's it, man? This is a Seknezer, it's 9 and 1. He answered then, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Yeah, you got no times you're living in, man. Jake yep. don't, don't, don't understand the time that they're living in, man. They think it's a time of, 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 of folly, okay, murphing it up, doing do as thou will. When this is not the time for that. Oh. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, that which I have told thee before. Prophecy, go ahead. Yep, that's right. It says, then shalt thou understand. Mm, then you're going to understand. Oh, man. The Lord said what, man? You know? Uh, uh, earthquakes, of course, you know, see his things that this happened, and then what? He's about to visit this place, man. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time mm -hmm. wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, it's getting ready to come visit the world which he made, man. That's that's what that's what that's the times that we're living in, man. But but Jake take this thing for a joke, man. They don't think the Heavenly Father is going to return to visit this place, man. They think this time is far off. Well, actually, the prophecies of the Bible are speaking. And the Lord is using his men to come out here and warn the people, man. That's where you're going to get the warning from. That's where you're going to get the wisdom from out here on how we're in ways. That was it. Hey, you know, so with that, you know, Lord Wells edifying, you know, not a beautiful weekend out here prophesying the downfall of this wicked and sinful queendom called America, okay, which is spiritually Rome, Egypt, Babylon, Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, according to the Bible. Before we go any further, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, and shalom to the, uh, the brothers and Sir Akim's whole world next week. Shalom. 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 shalom.